Hi, Hiram here. I've been asked many times about my thermometer that I use on these my tests. Uh, what kind it is, how does it work, stuff like that. So I thought maybe I'd pop a little video here about it. It's a true temp put out by Taylor. Can you see that? Now on here, it doesn't have a model number or anything. It just says 3518-21. Unfortunately, nowhere on it does it give a model. But this one's a little bit different than other ones that I've seen. When you turn it on, you plug in the probe that it has. It comes with a probe that's about, I don't know, what, a little more than three feet long. It has a probe in there. It's a silicon wire although it won't take open flames very well. This is my second one. First one got burned up on a wood gas stove. But when it comes on, there you go, zero time, the time on the probe and what your target temperature is. So in my case, I set this for 212 because at this level, that's the boiling point, the hard boiling point of water here. Unfortunately, you got to tap it to get up to it. Hello. And unfortunately, it doesn't stay at the probe temperature. So there we have 212. So now when that probe gets up to 212 degrees, an alarm goes off. And it also shows the temperature here of the probe. So once this reaches 212, then this lights, this starts ringing. But if I push the start stop button like I do at the start of a test, I didn't enter anything so it counts up. And that's how I use it on my tests. I don't see many that uh, allow you to do that. It's a timer though because if you put in minutes like that, three minutes, and then press the start stop, then it counts down. Which isn't very useful for me for these tests. but. Uh, this is the way most uh, thermometers of this type work. They're a count down, but you can stop it, clear the, the uh, count, the time, and if you just push start again, sorry about the lights, it just starts counting up. Very handy. Now I got this from Target, a local department store here, but I think they're all over. But I don't think they sell them anymore. At least I haven't seen them in the store. But if you go to eBay and you look up Taylor Model 1470N, you'll get a whole slew of them coming up from different people. And the prices average from 1845 with free shipping, 1946 with free shipping. 1645 but then you probably have to pay shipping 2198 with free shipping and so on so there's a bunch of them there again you just look up Taylor model M O D E L 1470N I'll put it in the uh, text area so that you can see it I hope that helps you and always you know looking for questions like that so I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Good boy, Max.